What's up guys? Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I'm trying to grow my channel and do more cars. Um, today I'm just gonna be doing a walkover of this Tesla Model S Long Range. It's a uh, demo vehicle from the Tesla Center here in uh, Oklahoma. Um, they're just letting people out. They're just letting people sign up and demo them. Um, and so I was like, well, I'll check out the Model S. Um, you know, why not? Uh, first thing I'll talk about is the uh, that panel gap problem that people say they have with Teslas. Well, first off, it's dirty because, you know, everyone's test driving it. But um, anyways, the panel gap problem, it doesn't seem to be an issue on this model or maybe it's just their demo car is, they make sure it's better than, um, you know, better than the one that you might actually order. Uh, but I haven't seen any issues with this. It's in this nice black color. If I got one of these, I would definitely get it in black and it would stay uh, clean and I actually don't mind the uh, aero wheels on these um, this is the 23 so it's got the updated headlights from the previous models um, I mean this is a slick car I would definitely this would this is the color I would get if I got one um, but anyways I mean that's the walk around of the car we'll get inside and kind of look at it um, to open it, you kind of just tap these handles and they pop out. And, but on the interior, you just got this, uh, you got, there's a whole lot of cargo room. I'm 5'8", um, and I've got plenty of space back here. You can see you've got your own AC back here, um, fan speed. You can put on auto mode. Um, it's just really cold right now. Got Netflix and stuff, uh, music, heated seats, volume controls. Um, so, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, these seats are actually really nice. Like, this is nice leather. Um, the leather in my Mustang is not as soft as this. This feels really good. I think. I think the leather in my Mustang might hold up better than this, but this is really nice and soft and comfortable. We'll hop up in the front seat. And the inside, front seat is definitely spacious. Um, let's see if I can back out, there we go. Um, I mean, you can set up your your mirrors and everything through this. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video going through all these settings. It looks like there's a uh, a software update ready, um, which is kind of neat. I think that would be the full self-driving because it's waiting for an update. Um, so that would be neat. You have all this. I thought this was pretty nice because you can push this all the way up move that oh my gopro's in there but you move that and you got more cargo space down here push this back you can get down to that cargo space and then you get your cup holders back you can cover all that junk or you can cover everything and you have all this cargo space i mean there's cargo space all throughout this car because it's electric obviously there's no engine like you can go in here where the controls at you can Pop the front, pop the trunk. We'll get out and look at those. You got all that cargo space and you can hit this button back here. this space right here there's tons of space in this car I think if you're gonna choose a Tesla as your only vehicle I would choose the Model S 
Um, that's just my personal preference. But if you're choosing it as just a daily and you have a fun weekend car, my personal preference would be um, I would choose the Model 3, I think, would be my preference. Because this car is cool, but the Model 3 is, I mean, it's similar. Um, it gets good range. Uh, it's still fun to drive. And I just noticed there are, uh, well, I need the key. Key. I just noticed there's little park, reverse, neutral, and drive. I wonder if you can tap those. Oh, look at that. It's making me choose a direction. So maybe they light up. Oh, yep. It lights up. It's just a light. Okay. Well, I thought you could maybe hit that, but nope. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and go drive this thing around.